What's going on, guys? This is your Vince Valentine, EX Turk, and we're going to be talking about the boot, the Booster Pack DLC that just dropped. Now, we are all over the Chocobo Carnival. Like, the Chocobo Carnival is no longer there anymore. So, um, so, so, the Chocobo Carnival is no longer there anymore. So, you know, that's over. If you missed some items, that's just too bad. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of missed some. I think I did on purpose. I really didn't like the whole, um, the whole, what you call, uh, a Fiesta Band type of stuff. But there's other items I wanted to get, and I did. I was able to get it, I streamed it. Hey, you should be able to go look at my past uh, Twitch streams on YouTube to see it there. So for people who didn't see it, I'll probably put it on Facebook. Or uh, Twitter, I'll probably put it on Facebook and Twitter for people who didn't get to see me go to the Chocobo Festival. As for people who actually is a big enough Final Fantasy fan, that this will appear, this will this will appeal to them. But anyways, let's get started on the Booster Pack DLC. That just for North America. Now there's gonna be different versions if you got season pass or verse. I mean, Versus the free versions of these, you know, things. But now, Final Fantasy 15 DLC Booster Pack Plus now available to for no, for PlayStation 4 North American store. So PlayStation 4 is getting it first. Okay, so what you're gonna really get right now, once I guess once it really drops, I mean, there's already Final Fantasy channels who already got this because well, they're sponsored by Square Enix and they're bigger channels than my channel, so. You ain't gonna see me until you get it until when it does come out. But the contents are the Ragnarok Sword, which does some cool warp strike stuff. I seen, I seen a certain YouTubers' videos and uh, of this. I seen her for gameplay and stuff like that of this. You also get a Dragon Drain, which is a fishing rod, which I would not get that. Any other fishing rods would be better than that. You know, I'm just telling you the truth right now. Still fighting this goddamn cold, but I think I'm feeling a little bit better now. My voice is just coming back each and every time. Plus, I got a new phone case right here. I just need to get a little phone shelf. Okay. The package is quite small, but, you know, it will include a Magitech extra suit later on. Which, again, I, I mean, you get invincible for a while, but then you get to reset the time on the PS4. So, you know, tomorrow, next time you play it, you just have to reset the time. You could pretty much cheat that, but I would never be using these suits. I mean, if I do, it's going to be when I'm in desperate need. <laughs> but I'm so good at the game, I don't even really need to use it. And that's the truth. I really don't even need to use it. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oof. It's weird. It's, it's awkward. I said. But anyways. Oh, uh, yeah, but the... I am probably won't be needing to use that. Oh, that's in the Super Sentai series? Okay, that's why. But it looks too much like the Power Rangers. I really didn't like it. Again, another reason why I cussed out Square Enix for that fail of the 30th anniversary. <laughs> it was shit. Man, no need to defend it before. before. But okay, wait a minute, Square Enix fans and fanboys. Before typing angrily on the keyboard, that was kind of messed up because we didn't really need it. And they got sued for it. And well, I mean... If you want to look like a Power Ranger, that's cool, but it's like, I wasn't off for that shit, so I wasn't jumping on the shit, and my music just played off, which, let me go back to it again. It, it, it played off again because, it, 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 didn't like the, it didn't like me talking about that part of the story, but I wouldn't be using it, to be quite honest. So we got that, um, episode, Carnopto and Gladiolus. Is coming very soon, which again, I hope they change some more things. Like, I don't know, I'd want more cooler swords from the older Final Fantasy games. But that's just me, I would like that. We what we need is more costumes, we need better costumes, and not this and not the Super Sentai series, uh, Magitech Extra Suits. We need actually real costumes. I'm not gonna be here. I'm not gonna be here to deal with some of that bullshit. So, and so you know about that. But it don't look like there's very much. I mean, 
I guess you would get the I uh, get the Red Knight sword to increase Noctis's HP. Cause the DLC stuff does increase HP. I mean that's why I got the whole that's why I went and bought the <laughs> the royal suit right there. The one you see in the gameplay footage I'm showing you right there below, but it don't look like there's very much But you know it's shit they should have put in the game before. They should have already had new game plus before. They should have already had all the DLC that was in here before. Maybe we want to charge extra for some stuff. But we know what's messed up. We were supposed to get the Lightning's uh, Blitz Flyer Sword and the um, let's see, Mage Masters when it when it came to launch. All we got was the Masamune, and, and you know it was just a different looking Masamune. All we got was the all we got was a Masamune, and that's it. We didn't get the King's uh, King's. I think is, is it the King's Knights. Uh, the, the, one, the, the, the game that everybody wanted, even more than Final Fantasy 15. That was like the little retro arcade beat 'em up thing. Yeah, we didn't get that for, during launch, and that was supposed to be the standard one too. That's not you don't have to buy the deluxe one to get that, or the collector's edition, you know. So GameStop short changed us because we were supposed to get those, but we never did. Which I think maybe it wasn't GameStop, maybe it was Square Enix. Just, you know, saying, yeah, hold up a bit. We can put this content to good use. So let's put this content to good use by making people wait for it. And they get people like me legitly pissed off and making angry rant videos, which I, you know, I'm tired of making angry rant videos because once you make one rant, it's pretty much all the same shit. <laughs> You're going to be ranting about the same thing over and over, but, you know... <laughs> Square Enix short short changes us, so with with, with that, I'm kind of pissed off. I really am because we were supposed to get this content earlier. Now the Axel suits again, I didn't really care for it. Like I said, I'll probably get it, but I'm not gonna really. I'm probably gonna get it, but I don't think I'm gonna invest in actually using the Exo suits because using the Exo suit, you, suit it looks stupid. I mean, if I'm dealing with the bad boss, but it's like I'm the strongest character. Now, other things we're probably going to get is the 100 level 20 cap, which, again, it sounds ideal, but let's be quite honest. Do we really need it? Do we really need the 120 cap? I mean, I think it's good to stay level 99, like every other Final Fantasy game. I mean, I get that they're trying to do something else with this. I get it. <laughs> well, with a game as short as Final Fantasy 15, even with all the extra missions... Even with all the extra DLC, the Pitios dungeon, the, you know, the secret door dungeons, I don't think it's really needed. I don't think it's really needed. Even the music is queuing up right now, it's telling you guys that it's not really needed. You know, the 120 cap, but, you know, I mean, I guess because some bosses were 120, like the Nefogger Omega weapon that you fight for that one guy who makes the swords and the Stalem. But it's like, let's be quite honest. Do we really need a little more level twenty cap? Do we need? Is it is it necessary? I mean, are the one in the DLC gonna be that strong? I mean, are we gonna have to fight Verstalm episode pronto? And you're gonna have to have pronto be at the max level? I mean, uh, more likely he'd probably, he'd probably be at level forty six because Verstal at that point would be weak. Considering this is before the Magitek. Factory Chapter 13. Just saying. Just saying. <coughs> you know, just saying. I mean, look how easy it was to beat Loki in, ch in uh, the previous, the, like the very first chapter. Was it first or second? I can't remember, but he was there. We beat him really easily. Like, really, like, no, to no effort. And Corgi, we don't even know what happens to Corgi, but it's like. None of those bosses, I mean, Verstal couldn't be when I level 20. If Episode Prompto happened right, if Episode Prompto happened right before, right before Tenebrae and Chapter, I mean, right before Chapter 12 and Chapter 13, Verstal would at least be level 35. Well, uh, no, I mean, not level 35 because I know this was level 35. Um. Level 25 at least. 25 at max. 
you know, even if he uses some insane one hit kill thing. <laughs> I mean, I guess it'd be harder because you're not, you don't have the group with you, so you have to be prompto and you have to find him by yourself. I mean, you're gonna have to train prompto all the way up, probably. Maybe that's what, how hard it's gonna be, even if you're level 99, but it. I just don't see the point of level 120 cap. What, I mean, what are you going to gain with one level 20 cap? What boss do you have to fight that you're going to have to be that level? What are you going to have to do? Are they going to put Sephiroth in, the, in like a time game? I know they're not, but seriously, it's like, what's the point of a level 120 cap? You can leave me in the comments below what's, what's the significance. It don't bother me or nothing. It's like, I just don't see no point. It's just like a sequel to Final Fantasy 15. There's, there's no, you know, there's no need for a sequel. There's no, you know, and you know, everything was answered in way. But it's like, there's there's nothing that you could, you could be using that level on. But none of that. I guess you could just get a trophy off of it. Maybe that's it. Some bragging rights. Or pretty much call yourself the greatest Final Fantasy player ever. I mean, that's all that you probably end up doing with it if you got to level 120 because that means you have to be playing this game all day every day no problem <laughs> you know which means you'll be missing a lot of time at work to do that but this game's pretty short with all the extra stuff in it anyway so what is the actual point of a level 120 cap I'll be quite honest I'd rather have the boost back come with even more cutscenes to explain everything that happened to the Niflheim Empire and what happened to Noctis during the 10 years. That's really what I want personally. That's what I care about. I don't know what you guys care about. That's what I want. I don't want to actually have all this. Now the Ragnarok Sword seems pretty cool. I might actually get for the Ragnarok Sword because it looks pretty it looks pretty dope. But Oh, it's just, why is the level the one cup? Why do we even get extra Magitech X or something? I mean, yeah, you're going to just change it, but why would you need those two things? Kind of seem like useless items, but tell me what you think in the comments below. If what, 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 what's your favorite part of the booster pack? And, and do you think level 120 cap is useless or going to make the game better? You know, and may the crystal be with you again. Not above taking constructive criticism, and also go ahead and let it rip in the comments below.